Rahmat and uh, Gautam Rampelli is here. Arvind, let me start with you. Uh, tell me a little bit about JNK India in brief in terms of what end of the capital goods do you service in? What kind of clients do you have also to understand that the sector with the, or the kind of clients you actually cater to? Uh, hi Ajay, good afternoon and uh, thank you. So basically what we do is we do a heating equipment hmm. business which is uh, thermal designing, manufacturing, installation, engineering and commissioning as well. Hmm. So this is basically at the beginning of the any process industry and we are able to heat the raw materials from 600 to 1200 degrees centigrade. So you okay. can imagine the criticality and the reliability required. So you're the in early the, cycle requirement in the capital grid space? Absolutely. It's at the beginning of beginning. any plant. Beginning of the, any plant, we need to heat up the any liquid. It's just like our kitchens. When we you know, get sure, any raw metal, sure. we need to heat to start off. That's, that's the point. And then basically the sectors which we cater are refineries, that mm -hmm. is the oil and gas, and the petrochemical plants, fertilizers, hydrogen, ammonia, methanol. So these are the industries which we cater to. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, which is being used, where would that be utilized if you could tell us what is the proportion of uh, fresh issue and OFS or combo exactly? Yeah, it's basically a combination. 300 crores is the fresh issue and 349 crores is the OFS. And with the fresh issue, we would be using mainly for the working capital and certain corporate uh, expenses. Mm -hmm. So in working capital, because uh, our products basically uh, uh, value would be about 50 crores, 200, 250 crores kind of a size now. Mm -hmm. And going ahead, we'll larger projects as well and the gestation period or the time taken to deliver and install is about 12 months to 24 months sure. so that's the reason we need working capital also Fair the bank point. guarantees are involved so with this working capital we're looking at you know growing ahead mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so 850 is what your order book was as of december 2023 but just wanted to get got in the conversation yep. uh, in terms of the split of let's say export versus domestic what does it stand at right now and what is it expected to be for the course of next two to three years? Uh, domestic to export. Uh, the revenue Domestic is around 40 percent, 60 percent was exported earlier. Now, why this because of the making in India, the, our domestic is changed to 60 percent and the export is 40 percent. But in the future, it is going to be again reverse. So, you think the demand is coming in a lot from exports? So, help me understand which are the geographies you cater to and in terms of the margin differential between the two, what kind of margin? differential is there in terms of exports versus a domestic order? Uh, right now, uh, what uh, geography we are giving is uh, what is uh, Mexico and Africa and also Middle East and also uh, Russia mm -hmm. this area right now uh, and uh, over uh, export is going to be also which have margins will be always better, better in case of um, uh, export jobs because this will be manufactured and exported at one time without any construction uh, involvement in that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. But why not US and Europe? What's the road that for you to get into US and Europe? No, right now actually US also we are getting into that thing because uh -huh. the process licensors who actually qualify us for do the job, then we have all mm -hmm. recently got a, a job for a fire eater for, for a job in uh, USA, mm -hmm. which we have uh, going to be executed shortly. Mm -hmm. Arvind, I want to understand how the trajectory of the company has been in the last five years. If you could tell us about the growth, if you have actually seen and uh, also the areas of focus within that. Do you want to remain in the current product line or you want to improve your product mix towards high margin as well going forward? Uh, yeah, I mean, basically, see, we started in 2010 in India mm -hmm. with the partnering uh, with JNK Korea who is a technology player and mm -hmm. who was basically focusing in Korean, South Korean market. Sure. And then uh, along with them, it took us about 10, 10 years or so to develop the team, develop qualifications, product line, because as I explained earlier, it's such a critical and reliability equipment required for the process industry. Mm -hmm. we, the process industry customers are very, very choosy in terms of selecting few sure. uh, acceptable vendors for these product lines. So they generally accept only uh, like European vendors or sure. Korean. I would say, proudly say, we are the first Indian uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, company who are in this line getting mm -hmm. accepted. So your partnership with that Korean company is yeah. Yes, it is still there and they are very happy with the relationship what we have and they, Mr. B. H. Kim who is the President and CEO of JNK Korea is also on our board throughout. Sure. Mm -hmm. What about yeah. the margin? How, what kind of margins do you have around here and is there scope for improvement in margin as you go higher value add? I mean, see last year it's our EBITDA has been 18% quite consistently. PAT has been between 11 to 12% and okay. then we, what we are doing with the product 
So it's, you know, just to be more uniform and, uh, uh, you know, more to in the focus on the other products as well. We have started uh, off gas and waste gas handling systems as well. It's also a mm. combustion based uh, technology and uh, basically leveraging what technology or what technical expertise we have. So we are also going into flares and incinerators. We have some products in that region. And uh, because we handle uh, gray hydrogen in mm. reformers mm. with the hydrogen knowledge, we're doing the green hydrogen as well. We're putting up the first green hydrogen fuel station in India, which is on generation and on-site dispensing, which okay. will get commissioned next month or so. Right. Right. Uh, but uh, coming back to the growth front, uh, I saw that you have some 60-70% uh, growth in the last 3-4 years, right? If we normalize it going forward, I know you cannot talk about much of uh, forward-looking stuff, but right. on a five-year basis, the trajectory, do you think there is enough order book coming in from domestically and overseas as well? Absolutely, Ajay. I mean, uh, if you see our TAM there in the RHP as well, sure. next five years, we look something like 63,000 is the opportunity globally so you know and we are very small global player as on now our though we were uh, like a 27 percent market share in india last year our global market share is only two to percent so kind of have a way to go ahead yeah long run we have growth available uh, the market size is huge thanks arvind as well as gautam for coming to our studios really appreciate your time today but time now to move from